President Trump recently said that your dealings with China were so egregious that in times gone by, the punishment would have been death. That's right, he said that. Mm -hmm. That's correct. He is suggesting that you be punished by death, the former commander in chief to his former top military advisor. Um, look, I'm, I'm a soldier. Uh, I've been faithful and loyal to the Constitution of the United States for 44 and a half years. Uh, and my family and I have sacrificed greatly for this country, my mother and father before them. And, you know, as, as much as these comments are directed at me, it, it's also directed at the institution of the military. Um, and there's, there's 2.1 million of us in uniform. And, and the American people can take it to the bank that all of us, every single one of us, from private to general, we're loyal to that Constitution and we'll never turn our back on it no matter what, no matter what the threats, uh, no matter what the humiliation, no matter what. If we're willing to die for that document, if we're willing to deploy to combat, if we're willing to uh, lose an arm, a leg, an eye, uh, to protect and, and support and defend that document and protect the American people, then we're willing to live for it too. So I'm not gonna comment directly on those, those things, but I can tell you that uh, this military, uh, this soldier, me, will never turn our back on that Constitution. But for the record, was there anything inappropriate or treasonous about the calls you made to China? Absolutely not. Zero. None. It almost seems odd to ask this question because the former commander-in-chief seems to be calling for your execution. Are you worried about your safety? I've got adequate safety precautions. I, I wish those comments had not been made, but they were, and we'll take appropriate measures to ensure my safety and the safety of my family.